not gonna we're not gonna force compliance on people. This is back to the dominion thing. Right, right, right. We're not gonna dominate people and say, man, believe in Jesus, you know, follow God's law and that kind of thing. That's what you're doing when you get in, when you have Christians getting in government, right? That's what you're advocating. Right? The most most the people who I associate with in being involved in government is to decrease the power of the state, not increase the power of the state. We want a smaller government at all levels. When I say government, civil government at all levels. We want to turn more responsibility over to, to states and counties and cities. We want a very decentralized civil government. Back to like the ex Exodus 18 model. We don't, we don't want to increase the power of the state. I don't want the state running, running public schools, government schools. It's not its job. It's going to happen eventually though, right? What's that? Government schools. I mean, we already, eventually, we've got them. Well, I mean, but if, even if we follow your How model, did we lose it? How, well, how do we get government schools? Well, if, did the government come in there and say, we're going to start government schools here and you're going to buy? No, people capitulated. They said, yeah, we want the government to do this. Tax yeah. me, man. Tax my property. Tax my neighbor. Tax me. I don't have any children in public schools and yet I'm paying, I'm paying for your child. Yeah, that's it's that. the fall effect. We want a king. Yeah, give us right. a king. But see, that's the point. Everything is getting worse. You expect for people to stop going, send their kids to public schools and to homeschools and that to take over the... What, what do you, how do you educate your kids? Oh, they're homeschooling. They're homeschooling. Yeah. In fact, I just read something where more and more black families are doing home, no. homeschooling. Tw 20 years ago, homeschooling? Yeah. Your, your child will never get into college. That's, right. That's, now they're that's, begging them. They are, because yeah. they're great, great students. Uh, who, 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 I mean, <laughs> so, okay, all right, we got right now, we have freedom in this country to send your child to any school you want to send them to. You can educate your child at home, you can, your church can start a school, here you got churches sitting around vacant 90% of the time, vacant. These huge churches, you got a Wednesday evening service, you may have Sunday morning service and a, and a Sunday evening service. You have Sunday school one day a week, maybe Wednesday night, and for the rest of the time those schools are vacant. And here we have the freedom in this country to teach our children in any way we want to do, and Christian parents are still sending their kids to, public, to government schools. They're not public schools, they're government schools. And they wonder why their kids turn out the way they do. And look, Christian kids in government schools is going to change the system. Oh, they're, 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 they've they're done in. a great, great job. They've done a great job. Ah, sar sarcasm. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and, and, you know, my child is a witness in the public schools. And I'm not saying that some children aren't witnesses in public schools. Well, what about the teachers that are there, the Christian teachers that are there that are being, that are evangelizing the kids the best way they can? If a teacher evangelizes a kid in most schools, they're, they're going to lose their job. They're incognito. Uh, well, maybe. But they shouldn't be there. We shouldn't have them. Why, why are they taxing my, my home, my property? to send somebody's child to that school. Now, is that biblical or is that political? It's theft. And so the Christian, the best way to go about changing that is to get involved in politics. No, the best way to get involved in that is to, to start with your first circle of responsibility is self-government. Self-government, family government, church government, county government, state government, national government. You don't change a society from the top down, you change a society from the bottom up, from the individual to the group, to the family, to the church, to the county, and so forth.